Welcome to this first tutorial in the Counter Foundation class series. This is a revised recording to reflect some minor changes in Release 5.0.2 of the Counter Code of Practice Release 5, published in 2021. This tutorial explains the Release 5 metric types and how to use them in calculating cost and decision making. There are several different types of usage metric in Release 5, which break down into investigations and requests. An investigation is tracked when a user performs any action in relation to a content item, such as a journal article, book chapter or video record, or to a title, such as a book or journal while a request is specifically related to viewing or downloading the full content item, as you can see on the diagram on the right of this slide. There are three investigation metrics. Total item investigations reflects the total number of times a content item or information related to a content item was accessed. Unique item investigations shows the number of unique content items, again, chapters or articles, investigated by a user. And unique title investigations shows the number of unique book titles investigated by a user. Note that this metric applies to book usage and not to journal usage. There are also three request metrics. Total item requests is the total number of times the full text of a content item was downloaded or viewed, or a full video record was viewed. Unique item requests is the number of unique content items requested by a user, and unique title requests is the number of unique book titles requested by a user. Again, this metric applies only to book usage and not to journals. An institution purchases two journal subscriptions for 2021. Journal X for £25,000 and Journal Y for £10,000. Unique item requests are used to calculate cost per download. In this scenario, a librarian has used the Release 5 TRJ1 report to check the full text usage of each journal, excluding open access articles. Journal X is showing 60,000 unique item requests compared with just 200 for Journal Y. While Journal X is more expensive, it has a better cost per download. The calculation looks like this. £25,000 divided by 60,000 unique item requests is 42 pence per unique item request, whereas £10,000 divided by 200 unique item requests is £50 per unique item request. In this scenario, Susan is researching the history of antibiotics on publisher platform Alpha. From a list of search results, she opens three article abstracts and a video record. All four records are different, but two of the articles are from the same journal. The counts are four total item investigations, four unique item investigations, zero unique title requests, total item requests, unique item requests, and unique title requests. After reading the abstracts, Susan downloads PDFs for two of the articles, both from the same journal. The counts change to six total item investigations, four unique item investigations, zero unique title investigations, two total item requests, two unique item requests, and zero unique title requests. From a cost per download perspective, librarians should count the two unique item requests. Access denials are sometimes known as turnaways. Two varieties of access denial metric are tracked in Release 5. No license is counted where a user is unable to access a unique content item because their institution does not have a license to the content, while limit exceeded is counted where a user is unable to access the item because their institutional cap on the number of simultaneous users has been exceeded. 
both no license and limit exceeded apply when a user has successfully investigated an item but has not been able to complete a request. Susan continues her research on publisher platform Alpha. From a list of search results, she opens three new article abstracts and two video records. Her institution has not subscribed to the video database and she is therefore denied access. The counts are five total item investigations, five unique item investigations, two no license and zero limit exceeded. Susan repeats her attempt to access one of the video records five minutes later. The counts are now six total item investigations, five unique item investigations, three no license and still zero limit exceeded. A high no license count may suggest to a librarian that they should investigate the costs of subscribing to the video database. Susan continues her research on publisher platform beta. From a list of search results, she opens three article abstracts and two video records. Her institution has a concurrency limited subscription to the video database and Susan's usage exceeds that cap. The counts are therefore five total item investigations, five unique item investigations, zero no license and two limit exceeded. A high limit exceeded count may suggest that the library should investigate the cost of increasing the concurrency cap for the video database. There are four types of search metric in Release 5. Searches regular is the number of times a user searches a database where there is only one database available to search, or they have the option to choose from a selection of databases. Searches automated counts the number of times a user searches a set of databases where there are multiple databases available, but the user cannot choose to limit their search to a subset of those databases. Searches federated is the number of times a search is run remotely through an API. And finally, searches platform is the number of times a user searches on a platform, regardless of the number of databases involved in the search. This metric appears only in platform reports. Susan continues her research on the history of antibiotics on publisher platform Alpha, which includes multiple databases that do not permit user selection. She runs a search for history and antibiotics. The counts are zero searches regular, one search is automated, one search is platform, and zero search is federated. For a database like this, the cost per use calculation may be more dependent on searches than on full text downloads, but this is dependent on library practice. Susan continues her research on publisher platform beta, which includes multiple databases that do permit user selection. She reruns her search for history and antibiotics. The counts are one search is regular, zero search is automated, one search is platform, and zero search is federated. In a separate session, Susan uses an API to search publisher platform alpha. The count for that activity is zero searches regular, zero searches automated, one searches platform, and one searches federated. We have many other helpful resources on our website at www.projectcounter.org where you will find our friendly guides for librarians and providers. On YouTube, you will find many more tutorials like this one, dealing with counter reports, attributes, and understanding how open access is reported. We'll see you next time.